Understanding meta tags. I wanted to talk a bit about the section of a web page that um, the search engines see. These are known as the meta tags. And of course, if I show you here, that's you know between the, the header section here. And uh, you're going to go out and find that uh, just about every page, if the webmaster is smart, they, they've done their meta tags because you're, you're foolish not to. So let's talk about the first one, the title tag. This is uh, possibly the most important part of your page because it, it's it's uh, it's a big deal. Uh, the title of your page is kind of like the title of a book. You know, it's representative of what the book is about. So uh, simply put title and then the title of your page and then the uh, the ending, the closing tag. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's put a title in here. Actually, it's already in here. So right there, title. And then uh, we'll just put it here. This is the title of my page, and then close it with that. And that's that's it. That's the title tag. Now we go to the preview, and you don't see anything. Uh, actually, the title of a page does appear in a browser. Let me go ahead and show that to you. The title is what appears right here. So the title of this page is How to Train a Dog, and then so forth. So uh, when you do a search on Google, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes, what comes up here is the title of the page. So uh, there you go. Title certainly is important. Okay, moving on. Let's see here. Description meta tag. This is also uh, important, not as important as uh, the title, but still important. This is a chance for us to describe what the page is about. And this is the code that you use. Meta name equals description. Content equals information on dog training includes help with barking. That that was the description that I went ahead with. So what I would do is I would just take that, copy it, and then paste it right into my page, which could be, uh, you know, I could have it be right here. Keywords meta tag. This is also another chance for us to tell the search engines the keywords that uh, are important in this page. Oftentimes if you're trying to rank for a keyword phrase, you certainly want to make sure that you put them in here. Uh, the, the coding again is just meta name equals keywords, content equals dog training tips, dog training, dog training information, and, and whatever else is relevant. Now, back in the good old days, people used to keyword stuff, meaning that they would put about a bazillion keywords in here, and that trick doesn't work anymore. In fact, it can hurt you. What I would suggest you do is not go crazy and just have you know five to ten keywords in there that describe your site. You don't have to do it. Uh, some people even say it doesn't really count that much anymore. So uh, that's something that I guess you could uh, you could argue with people about. But I I do do it because I think that it's it's not going to hurt as long as you don't overdo it. Okay, the robots meta tag is also something that you see a lot of. Basically, what this does is it's used to uh, tell a a page if you don't want uh, the search engines to index your page. So let's say, for example, that you have a page that's private that you don't want the, the search engines to, to be pulling up, you would create this tag here. There is also a way to make this tag, change this tag so they know to follow, but uh, the default is that they will follow, so you, you not, don't actually need it. So this actually isn't that important of a tag, but I wanted to include it just to include it. So that's the, the meta section, the, the basic gist of it. And you should now have an understanding of, of uh, how website works. Now, we had talked before about how to take these files and upload them with your FTP. You know, of course, you would just go in here and save the pages, and then you would connect with your FTP program and upload them to your site, and then they will look just like they do here. Uh, pretty cool, huh? So, again, if creating a, a web page is going to be difficult for you, uh, you know, you can can learn but if it's going to something you really struggle with you know why not go out and pay someone to do it you can go to a place like um, rent a coder get a freelancer places like that and just spend you know twenty dollars and have a landing page created for yourself it's actually uh, not a big deal and then then of course since you'll have a starting point then you can go ahead and change things around you know as you move forward so that is how it works I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it encourages you to go out and learn more about how to code HTML. It's really not that difficult.